What's up guys and welcome back to another video Munster vs Leinster that took place last night in Pro 14 round 9 What a game it was It was postponed and then we finally got to see it again 3 points in it, 2 tries, well 1 try a piece, 2 tries in the whole game And um, a phenomenal effort from Munster and Leinster to come also come back Obviously in games like this, when it's a massive rivalry, especially a good old Irish derby, you want to see more tries, but that wasn't the case. But having said that, a cracking game between these two teams. And um, a phenomenal effort from both of them, especially Munster. I mean, Munster started off getting on the board, 3-0 at the point. And then they're getting their try from uh, Ty Byrne. Phenomenal stuff from him. Then you saw Munster really looking at it, going forward, um, Conor Murray with that basketball-like pass um, to Burn who gets over the line was phenomenal. Um, it was great. And then, obviously, 10-0 ahead. Who would have thought? You're thinking, jeepers, Munster's here to play. And it continued um, to get the, the game movement and then a couple knock-ons. And then, strange decision from Robbie Henshaw um, as his cross-field kick goes, went out of the field. And then Munster had the line out and, and then in Leinster's half. Um, it, then the throw from Rice Marshall doesn't go straight. And then Leinster get in the scrum. There were moments that were itchy and iffy, but they had um, um, positive moments as well. Shane Daly had um, brought Munster into the Leinster half with his big boot. Um, and then Leinster obviously doing well to clear um, opportunities early on in that first half. Leinster getting the penalty to, to make it 10-3 at one stage of the game, 25 minutes gone. Um, but it was they were slowly working on that opportunity and then um, got it. They had moments when they were pushing for the try, penalty advantage. Sexton tried that one kick, didn't come off the way he wanted it, but it just didn't work out. So it was missed opportunities. Um, then Leinster taking the scrum. Um, in one of the parts of the game, it was a massive moment in the game, uh, and then Munster turned it over, getting the opportunity, and um, making that moment a huge moment for the home side. At the time, CJ Stunned and Scott Ford, he got into a scuffle, but then seemed to laugh it off at the end, which is great to see. Uh, Munster getting a penalty opportunity, um, but not getting going the way they wanted it, um, and then James Cronin getting penalised for not releasing the ball. Sexton got the penalty to reduce it, making it 10-6 at the time. And that was the half-time score, 10-6. Uh, and the moments were coming back, then so converting. But for me, Munster still were there. It was just missed opportunities for them, for both teams actually. They could have gone forward, they could have capitalised, but they just didn't. Um, Conor Murray's box kick at one stage in the early part of the half not dealt with uh, by Jordan and Lamar and then Haran kicks Munster into Leinster's 22 from there on um, so two summer or subs coming on in there, there but um, Munster getting a great turnover um, but again you know to get the momentum over to try and get a try here and there it just, did, it just didn't quite work for them Leinster obviously then getting over for the penalties to make it 10-6 at the stage and then Leinster obviously getting a try out of uh, nowhere Leinster go wide, Rossburn grubbers um, a kick that pops into Keenan who passes into Lamar who dances past the tackle and goes over the line which obviously increased the score to 10-13 70 minutes gone, Rossburn got the conversion uh, from a tight angle of the match um, and would pretty much been turned on its head and then uh, it was just uh, Lenses game from there they just kept calm kept moving um, Delano fumbles the ball for Munster uh, which pretty much ended the game for it not a good one to see the South African do that um, but Lenster once again hope bra bragging rights and credit to them um, 
pretty much most of the game, it looked like Munster would finally get one over the big rivals. Um, but Silky moves from Leinster, finished by Lamar, was the match-winning performance for us. So unfortunate for the, the men in red, who were at home, there was a lot of talk, can we see it happening? But it just wasn't the, the case. Leinster got that penalty, half-time 10-6. Missed opportunities, then the try. Um, and that was the only form of points in that second half. So, cracking stuff from both teams. I would have liked to see more tries, but um, you know, credit and respect with credit is due. And uh, Leinster managed to hold it up. And where to from here? We're going to see these two teams meet a few times this year. Should be interesting. Um, and it should be an exciting performance. So, going forward, who's going to win Pro 14? We'll have to wait and see. Some of the stats, game stats for the game from the tax side, obviously a try apiece for both teams. Possession pretty much average to 50-50. Clean breaks, two for Munster, six for Leinster. Defenders beaten 13 to 33 for Leinster. Offloads, five for Munster, three for Leinster. In the defense mar margin, territory 53% to Munster, 47% to Leinster. Uh, numbers of tackles 168 to 200 um, tackles for Leinster so definitely quite a lot of defense movement from Leinster in the game missed tackles 33 which isn't that great from Munster's side and then only 13 missed tackles for Leinster which isn't too bad tackle success obviously 84% for Munster 94% for um, Leinster turnovers won 5 for Munster 3 for uh, Leinster and then kicking success 97% for Munster and 95 for Leinster that's going to do it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys real soon for another one thanks so much for watching stay safe and never give up cheers